If you're interested in climbing, you might have already heard about the seven summits list. You might have even climbed one or two of them. But what you might not know is that the list is not really universally agreed upon. Of the multiple disputes, one stands out as most legitimate. Karsten's Pyramid. You see, Mount Kosciuszko is the highest peak on mainland Australia. However, the argument goes that what defines the area of a continent should also include the submerged part of the continental shelf, which in the case of Australia extends to Tasmania in the south and the island of New Guinea in the north. And it's there, on the edge of the continental shelf, where Karstens is located. Today, aside from being part of the Seven Summits, Karstens Pyramid is also famous for its equatorial glaciers, inaccessibility and surrounding controversy. Karsten's Pyramid, which currently stands at 4,884 meters and is the highest peak in Indonesia and Oceania, used to be at the bottom of the ocean. It was created as a result of a tectonic collision between the Australian and Pacific plates around 5 million years ago in a process that continues to this day. As mentioned, the mountain is quite rare in that, despite its location on the equator, its height has allowed for the formation of glaciers. Karstens is more than twice the height of Mount Kosciuszko, the highest peak in mainland Australia, which in turn is more like a hill than a mountain. Karstens is also significantly more difficult to climb, as summiting Kosciuszko can be compared to a walk in the park. The first recorded climb of the mountain was in 1962 by a team led by the Austrian climber Heinrich Harrer. Since then, and particularly after being considered as part of the Seven Summits, the peak has gained popularity and has been summited multiple times. Karsten's Pyramid is considered among the most technical of the Seven Summits as it involves technical rock climbing of moderate difficulty as well as the use of fixed ropes. The climb itself should take between 12 to 14 hours for a combined ascent and descent. Perhaps one of the most scary sections of the climb is crossing the 10 meter wide gap below the summit using a Tyrolean traverse method. However, the real challenge is not the climb itself, but rather simply getting to base camp. In a few words, Karsten's is a logistical nightmare. Government red tape, political instability in the region, as well as frequent tribal warring has restricted the number of summits per year. In addition, the mountain's remote location is highly inaccessible, requiring up to 50 kilometers of jungle trekking up to the base camp. Make no mistake, this is a challenging and hazardous journey through the jungle into the highlands of Papua, which usually takes about four to five days. As an alternative to the hike, you could hire a helicopter to take you to the base camp of the mountain. However, you would again be faced with difficult traveling logistics and a significant increase in expenses. As a climb with a high technical rating, this adventure should only be undertaken by experienced and physically fit climbers. If all goes as planned, the whole trip should take around two weeks and would cost you between 10 to $15,000. However, if we are talking about Karsten's Pyramid, we cannot ignore the massive mine carved out in the mountain range in close proximity to the peak. The Grasberg Mine is the largest gold mine and the second largest copper mine in the world. The mine was officially opened in 1973 and its operations have provided employment to over 20,000 people. In addition, the mine has enabled the creation of infrastructure such as roads, marine port, airport, power plant, as well as a whole new town called Tempagapura. However, the mine has also had a massive environmental impact on its surrounding ecosystem and local communities. The concentrator's tailings, generated at the rate of 700,000 tons per day, wash into the Aikwa River system and the Arafura Sea. As a result, the Aikwa River is currently unsustainable for aquatic life. The mine's acidic runoff, dissolved copper and finer material settles along the river course all the way to the ocean and will continue to do so indefinitely. To make matters worse, a local band of guerrillas fighting to make the Papua province independent of Indonesia are somewhat active in the area and the Grasberg mine is an occasional flashpoint. Despite that, the Papua island is among the most exotic and fascinating places left to travel in the world. Aside from the great climbing experience, West Papua has spectacular nature with tropical jungles which contain over 600 species of birds and animals. In addition, you would most likely be able to experience the local culture as you would come into contact with the native Dani people which live in the jungle surrounding the mountain. Yes, the price tag and logistics can be an issue, but on the other hand, this adventure, which has only been completed by a few people in the world, would definitely leave you with a long-lasting memory.